Christmas 2021. NASA's present to the world with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. This gift took 20 years and $10 billion to build and launch. And we have engine start. And liftoff. Decollage, liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Amazing photos were released July 2022. Imagine the next 20 years making thousands of telescopes for the same price. Imagine each of those scopes could see a billion times closer. They could take pictures of other Earths around other stars like we had sent spaceships there. But how? Just like SpaceX has already done, they've made 2,500 Starlink communication satellites for $250,000 each. Each of them even have an ion drive to move around with. So we keep things cheap, small, and simple. So each scope, including launch, is less than a million dollars. We keep the mirrors smaller, maybe 20, 60 centimeters in size. Small scopes, of course, would be weak. They would be nowhere near a match for James Webb, much less a billion times better. Unless we go 20 times further away than Pluto from the sun. This is a long way to go. We'll have to go very fast. We have flown solar sails in space already. We will need to make them better. We've been pushing ships around the Earth for thousands of years using the wind. In space, we use light to push solar sails. Solar sails can go pretty fast. If we swing them close to the sun, 100 times closer, then we have 10,000 times more light. Then they can go really fast, even 20 times faster than we've ever gone before with Voyager or Pluto Express. They can get to where we need them to be in 10 to 20 years. Where we want to be is where the sun's gravity acts like a lens. The sun is almost a million miles across. It, its gravity bends light. The light that they bend will go onto these tiny, cheap mirrors, and suddenly those mirrors become 200 billion times better. How much better? They become like super telescopes, 10 to 30 miles across, like a telescope that covers all of Tokyo or all of Chicago. One billion times better than the tennis court sized James Webb telescope. Light from other planets around other stars on the other side of the sun are focused onto those telescopes. The image is sharp, but in an Einstein ring. Computers will convert that image so we can see it. We will see continents, oceans, even lakes and even islands. We can see hundreds, maybe thousands of light years away from scopes that are only three light days away. Three light days, even though difficult to get to, far more easy than the nearly impossible thousand light years away. And the key was using the sun. Using the sun, we go faster than we've ever gone. Using the sun, we see better than we ever have. We can actually see the surface of these other planets. We can make out even large alien cities. We can search thousands of planets for life. That's what we could do by reimagining how we build our telescopes.